What's going down, YouTube? Time to rock the letter I. That H was cold. We're gonna make this one a little hot, I'm thinking. It's got three bars to work with. Let's get this banged out a little bit easy, a little bit quicker. Gonna see if I can speed up my time a little bit. So I'm working with these angles. I, you know, it's kind of hard. I, in my personal opinion, I like rocking lowercase eyes with some funk to it. But uh, since we're going through the capitals this time, I'm just gonna rock this eye. It's gonna be burning. It's a little bit close like that. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch that up. Okay, we're just moving that up. I'm gonna drop these two layers real quick and then restart with a new layer hit it with those sharp angles make it come to life you know what i mean all right so we're just rocking this you know as you can see i mean even with doing these hard angles and these sharp little angles you know that's an eye you know if, if you know if you've never really been exposed to graffiti or you know you've never known anybody who does graffiti and you might go i don't know how to read them letters over there well, you know, this might help a little bit too. You might be able to show your mom or dad, or maybe your mom and dad's watching this video taking notes. So next time you go, hey mom, look at that. She's like, oh my God, that's old risky business over there. I can read that from my way. I mean, you start learning how letters are put together so you're not looking at all these crazy angles, not knowing what's going on. I mean, it's just, it, it's kind of, you know, somebody might post a picture of your stuff and they'll be like, uh, I just saw this sick, uh, well, it was graffiti on the side of the wall. You know, you want to be able to kind of keep the basic form. I mean, there's super wild style, you know what I mean? Which, which is super dope, but I feel like only graph writers know how to read those, you know, so. This is a good way to, to kind of learn how to read what you see on the street or see in magazines or whatever without, you know, being told what it means or says. or So I'm working that 3D from that left side this time. You know, you just want to hit every angle to your vanishing point. Your vanishing point can be anywhere. Obviously, it can't be inside the letter. I mean, that's not enough. You want to give your 3D a little bit of an angle too. You know, it's got to be coming from somewhere. I think on one of these letters, I'll show you what happens. I, I can bring that 3D way back there and it can really look like it's punching forward. I think I'll do that with the K maybe. So uh, the J or the K. So, you know, stick around for the next video. You'll see some real hard 3D going on. We might even get a little crazy with it down the line. I mean, we got like 17 more letters. So we'll see how that plays out. Hope you're sticking through it. And remember, hit me up on that Twitter, that evade one. Send some pictures, send some, you know, I, hey, send whatever. Just hit me up on there. Let me see what you're doing, how you're following along. Um, I want to see your artwork. I'm hoping it's inspiring to, you know, anybody or it's just fun to watch while you're drawing. All right. So I decided to go with some web colors on this one. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about this. It's a little, it's a little much. It's like even past how the G was, how it had those nice bright pastels. This is a little bit, it's almost like neon. You know, we'll rock with this. We'll, we'll see what's going on with this. So right now, you know, I'm only two colors in. I'm using the swatches again. So I selected like neons, I think. So we're just kind of playing around with this, this colder color palette. Like I said, uh, once you have your background down, if you're if you're happy with it, if it's not moving around, you can merge those layers together. Uh, it's gonna be Command or Control E, and they'll merge together, and then you can keep them nice and safe in their own layer. Okay, I'm I'm liking this. This is like a sea blue. This is a little bit. This is like dark when you get out there and you start catching uh you know start catching some halibut out there in the ocean. You know, check out Real Life Fisherman. You know, R-E-E-L, that real life. So we're keeping it icy. It's a little bit icy still, but it's more like a, it's more like you're walking by a, a store and the sign's just blaring in your eyes saying it's open. So, we, you know, we might stick with this. We might go see what the store has for us. Um, as you can see, I rocked a little flame on the top of the eye. That's definitely going to be um, warmer. And then I think I'll hit the background with some warm colors too. Now that's kind of opposite usually of what you want to do. Because your warm colors come forward and your lighter 
colors, your cooler colors kind of fade into the background, you know? Recede into the background. All right, did my little bit of designing in there, kind of like little angles here and there with a nice light 50 opacity, kind of the same blue arrow going through, um, playing with it a little bit. Now, the only thing when you start messing with opacity when you're doing your your interior you know, illustration or your designs or whatever, you gotta be careful because remember, if you're using opacity, the more you hit the same spot, the darker it's gonna get. Same with if you're at 100% opacity, but you're using soft brush, you hit that a couple times, it's it's fully color, you know, so there is no fade, there's no blend at that point because you kind of went too far. Once you go too far, you can't come back. You can never come back if you go too far. <laughs> so I'm just kind of looking around, I'm kind of, I'm game planning right now. I'm like, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do with this. You know, I know I want to keep it clean gotta keep it clean man all right we're gonna start hitting this with a warm scale gonna go straight for the red i think just really clash that red and blue all right see i started off with that soft brush here i want to use a hard brush it's underneath my cold layer so i'm not affecting anything of what i just did um, i'm gonna stay with that until i'm happy with that and then i'll probably merge these layers together and start blending them so you know flames got its, its its warms in there. You know, you see the blues in there too when you light that lighter or you know, something you're just trying to start a barbecue or something. You see how a flame goes. So I'm kinda sticking with those colors. Using a little bit darker coming coming through that bottom. And remember this is still behind my cold layers. If you're not good at, you know, changing on the fly and remembering what what, what your layers are, I suggest, you know, before you even start just go through label all the layers it kind of helps you stay on track too of what layer you're using and and what to be careful of because like i said if you're on the same layer and you're doing something and you're thinking you're on an entirely different layer and then all of a sudden you start messing it up it's hard to come back from that i mean you can control z i'm pretty sure you can set it to have endless but i mean that's a lot of work too just working through that control z trying to figure out where you started messing up now I'm bringing that blue through into the red. I just swapped layers really. I'm using a lower opacity so it kind of bl it's just blending in there. Overwhelming that those reds and oranges but I want to make it look like they're all moving in together. Yeah. Gotta use that dark. Really pop that flame out. Now I'm kind of going in with a darker. Um, but I'm going to use that lighter part that I have and just kind of make sure that you're seeing where those angles are, where those smooth transi transition is. So you can really see that flame. Okay, yeah, feels like a, feels like a oval, feels like a circle. Different opacities throughout this background. Just kind of playing with it. Until you feel like it, I mean, it goes together, you know, and then you can even start doing like I'm doing right here is taking that light color, making it work through the darks from behind and kind of making it its own thing, you know? Yeah, that's looking nice. It's got like it's kind of smooth. I might do some of these letters too. You know, like I said, we have like 17 more letters to go. So you might see some different kind of techniques going on. I might use the paintbrush a little bit and show you what that's all about. Um, it's a little bit different, you know. Uh, we'll see if we rock it on these capitals or if we save it for you know a little bit of bubble letters or lowercase letters that we might do in the future um like i said you want to see anything you want to see a name done a word done a state done a country done um you know hit a comment down below you might see it i might rock it you know i'm always ready to be inspired by something and just let that pen start flowing you know so i took it up we're gonna start working these details a little bit this black outline needs to get cleaned up really want to make it look and make it pop you know Oh, I'm just, that's so clean. Yeah, see how it's just coming together? It's just like, and if you're doing this with pencil and pen, I mean, I, I do this exactly the same way. I'll have my, my background, I'll have my colors, I'll have my light outline, and then when I'm done, I will go back through and use my black pen and just really etch out these angles, these these outlines that I want because 
no matter what, that outline is the finished product. That's what really can make or break your design straight up. So you see those little embers I got going through the flame like it's burning that letter up? Should have put a little bit of like like some hot embers coming off that too, you know? Might do that next. You know what? I might put a little like little glow at the top of this letter when I'm done putting these little embers. These embers burning in these embers burning the eye. Alright. Okay, just making that 3D clean, giving it a little bit more than just the plain blue. What I'm doing is I'm just fading a darker hue. Uh, I'm doing basically all the middles of the of the 3D, and then I'm gonna use that same light main 3D color, go back in, take out parts of the darker that I don't want. So very simple technique, but it really it really makes your uh, your lettering really pop. Like I said, you don't want to, you can use solid 3D, there's nothing wrong with that, but, I mean, if you want to keep it wicked and just flowing all through it, every part of your design should have something going on. Yeah, that's looking nice. Just got done with the letter I, a nice little hot flame burning off that ice cold eye. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me see if you're following along. I want to see your artwork, if it's inspiring you, just or if you're just watching these videos while you're drawing. Hit me up on Twitter at evade1. I want to see those pictures. I want to see what you're doing. And hit me with a comment if you want to see something done, like a state, a city, your name, your mom's name, your dad's mom's name. Who knows? Just let me know. Maybe I'll rock it when we're done with this alphabet, but we're dropping letters every single day, or we're trying to, but uh, this alphabet will be rocked soon, and you'll be able to follow along to all the letters of the alphabet, because we're burning this right now. All right, peace.